transfer of control from the fireground incident controller to the incident controller and an incident management team is critical for the ongoing management of a large and developing uh, fire incident. As the regional controller, it's my responsibility to ensure that this transfer of control occurs effectively. For fire danger ratings very high and above, level three control centres across the state will be manned on these days. At fire danger ratings very high and above, fires often develop very quickly and are likely not to be contained by the initial attack. It's important as fire ground commanders and duty officers that we recognise the potential of fire to develop uh, quickly and recognise the need to transfer control early. That's what we got. The decisions we make in the early stage of a fire can really determine whether that fire stays small or becomes a large damaging fire. It's really important as fire ground commanders to actually have some trigger points marked on our map. If a fire is burning up in this area up here, we need some trigger points and that may, may well be this main road down to the south. So when that fire crosses that road, that can be our trigger point that we sectorise the fire, but also it's a good trigger point to hand over control to an incident control centre and an incident management team. That allows us to concentrate on fire ground activities, the things we do best. There are so many things we're expected to do in this day and age, it's not impossible to do them from the field. The community expects much greater warnings and advice than what we've done in the past. Again, this is difficult to do from the field, much better done on the incident control centre. Prepositioned incident control centres can provide timely relevant and tailored community advice and warning messages to the community, assist with fire prediction and estimation of fire behaviour development and potential, arrange and manage aircraft, provide additional resources for the fire ground and most importantly liaise with police and other emergency services at an emergency management team. Those decisions are much better made back at the incident control centre where it's much quieter and we haven't got the pressure that we actually have in the field. It allows us to concentrate on fire ground activities, which is what we should be doing as operations officers and fire ground commanders on the fire ground. The role of the duty officer and the initial incident controller is to manage the transfer of control process. They need to ensure that they've got an effective fire ground uh, structure in place and also are using the default communications plan for the incident. Remember that any local team is part of a much wider statewide team. It's incumbent upon us all to make it work on the day.